In this video, we are going to demonstrate a powerful new network adapter from Sony called the CNA2. Connecting CNA2 to your Sony Studio cameras enables a range of features for both operators and engineers. For engineers, CNA2 offers a useful dashboard giving peace of mind whenever you are in charge of multiple cameras, but with an additional license, CNA2 can also offer a software-based web-hosted RCP system that works alongside your physical RCP panels. CNA2 is a great backup in the studio and it also allows you to control all your cameras remotely, wherever you are on any PC. To tell you more and to demonstrate the CNA2 in action, I'm going to hand over to freelancer Manuel Balseiro, who is at Sony's Digital Media Production Center at Pinewood Studios in London. Hi, my name is Manuel Balseiro. I'm a live production freelancer and product expert for Sony. Today we have set up a simple two-person interview and we are covering it with a wide shot, a two shot and two close-ups. These cameras are connected to a CNA2 box like this one in the server room and then back to the switcher. Now, in this video, I'm going to run through everything you need to know about the CNA2 in four sections. The dashboard, setup for web RCP use, operation of the web RCP, and finally how to link CNA2 to your physical RCP panels. Firstly, I'm going to explain the dashboard page. This is the standard features that come with every CNA2. In the first page, we will find the camera cable and the camera cable condition of each camera. We can see the optical level and optical condition. In the second page, the lens and paint, we can see what lens are attached in which camera and some information, for example, the features or functions, a lag area or remote back focus. And in one page, some live information, for example, I can change the iris. In the next page, HDR, you can compare one camera to the others and see the color space is the same for each camera. In the fourth page, log, we can find if there is some error or warning in our system. And finally, diagnosis, we can see our camera models, the firmware, and finally, the board status. This is a good feature for engineers. In this section, I'm going to explain how to set up the CNA2 to work as a web RCP. You can do it on any touchscreen device whenever you are. The first thing that you have to do is go to settings and check that you have the license from Sony installed. Then go to system and check that master mode is on. Now in web RCP, we can see two pages, panel and overview. In panel is a four camera view and overview 12 cameras is the maximum that you can control with the system. In panel, we have all the functionality of a normal RCP, but with this software. Now I'm going to talk you through the paint operation in software mode. You have to go to overview and you can span all these parameters. For example, I want to change the matrix of camera three. First, I have to select the camera three and turn off or on this parameter or, for example, change the saturation of camera one easily. Also, you can turn off the camera power, for example, camera four, and turn off. And you can even switch off our refinder. When you finish with all these parameters, you can collapse all in one page. In this final part, I'm going to explain how to use the linkage mode. In linkage mode, we can use a physical RCP with the software. First, you have to go to settings and see RCP settings, activate the linkage and apply. Then you can use web RCP with your physical RCP. For example, I want to control the camera two, RCP link, camera two, and now the panel is the camera two. Activate the panel and I can change, for example, the filters. All the parameters that you change in the physical RCP panel also change in the software too. 
you can control up to 12 cameras with one RCP panel. I hope this video has been a useful introduction to WebRCP and CNA2. Thanks for watching.